Hello everyone, welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. My name is Drew Casper and I'm the curator here. Today I'm going to talk about our 1957 BMW Isetta. Now this is called the Isetta 300 because the engine size is a 298cc engine and they rounded that number to 300 cc's and that's why they call it the Isetta 300. So this car was made in the mid 50s by ISO which was a small Italian refrigerator manufacturer and they also made small cars and you can see the refrigerator design crossover in this front window or front door sorry in this front door and it doesn't latch like a normal car door would. So you have to shut this door and then latch it shut. The steering wheel comes out with this front door with this U-joint here where it turns with the door so that you have room to get in. This car weighs 770 pounds, so two people weighing roughly 200 pounds each getting in this car would increase the weight by 60%, uh, if you can do that math, which I can't. Um, so the engine is housed here, this powerhouse of an engine, a uh, 298cc engine, and it's 13 total horsepower, so not a huge powerhouse exactly but it is what it is um, there's often a basket here on this back little storage rack thing and, an, and a common misconception is that they're these Isettas are three-wheel cars and they were when they were made by the ISO company uh, and BMW made a three-wheel car but that was only for Brighton England because the car was cheaper to license and it cost less in taxes um, and it was also qualified as a motorcycle in England at that time. So it is a four-wheel car with two very close wheels in the rear. You get one luxury here, which I don't know if you can consider this a luxury, but it's these windows in the front that slide open and slide shut. In the event of a crash where this front door wouldn't be able to open, you have to crawl out the roof. This shifter is in a pretty unique position because you have to shift left-handed. that has a heater as well down here and an on off uh, oh this is the choke so turn your choke on and off with this top switch here and then the heater is controlled with this bottom switch the car has two cargo areas one in the front here and one behind you in this back shelf which came with a storage rack thing I guess so BMW made this Isetta and it only fit two people which was a problem they decided to make the 600 which many people call this the Isetta 600 but it's really just the BMW 600 that's because it has a 582 cc engine and it has two doors. So same type of door in this front one with the latching mechanism and uh, then an additional door here in the rear. But it's a back seat. So you could fit four people in this car or five if you really wanted to squeeze in. And that also has luggage here in the back. 
Now you might be wondering why this car is covered in wine corks, and uh, that's a good question. Uh, so Dwayne Saunders owns this car right now, and he's loaning this to us. Um, so he covers things with corks in his spare time and enjoys wine corking. He's a wino. He's a wino. Knock down a couple balls a day, glue it to your eyes, Etta. So this 600 is covered in about 3,000 corks total. And this was BMW's first four-seat economy car post-World War II. Here's what the engine looks like. Get it in the first. First. Here we go. We're gonna make a lap. A museum lap. Thanks for watching, and be sure to come by the Midwest Dream Car Collection to check out these two BMWs from the mid to late 50s that are pretty awesome and count these cores for yourself. See ya.